so it's uh, been a little while and I haven't really done much with the car. It's kind of just been us getting adjusted to living in Colorado again, but uh, I got some stuff and i uh, going to install that today and let me back the car out and then I'll show you what I bought, talk a little bit about it, do the install, and then I think it'll make a pretty significant difference to uh, the way this car looks. So let me back the car out. So, actually, I just want to check this out. I am still loving this combination of the CarPro Reset soap and, and bead maker as a drying aid. I mean, the car's a little dirty right now, but for the most part, I really like the way it looks right now. Okay, so like I was saying, I haven't really done anything with the car lately, but... Um, there's one modification that I've kind of been putting off for a little while and I decided to bite the bullet on it. So I reached out to Jason at Alfisimo. Said that wrong in the last video. Sorry, Jason. <laughs> Jason over at Alfisimo has been working to have their own carbon grill cover developed. On my white quadrifolio, I had a carbon grill on it. Um, and actually it's basically the same looking kit as what I bought this time around, but last time the part was made by Koshi. And so Alfisimo has been working with a U.S.-based manufacturer to make a similar carbon grill cover. It's a little bit better priced, um, but it's still super, super high quality. I've actually had this piece sitting in my office on my desk for about a week now. And so every time I get bored at work, I kind of just like grab it and look at it. And I'm looking at all the corners and angles and everything to see if uh, it looks good and it's, it's solid quality and everything. And it, it really is. So... Um, I've got a carbon grill cover, and then it also, the kit also comes with the little carbon emblem surround piece. And so, on my white car, I installed both of these. I'm not as sure if I want to go with this piece as well this time or not, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, and so basically, what I'm going to do today is install those. It should be super simple. Alfisimo ships it with the double-sided 3M adhesive that it needs to just kind of go on just like that. On my white car, the Koshi piece didn't actually have any adhesive or anything like that. Uh, so I used like a spray adhesive and, and installed it that way and it was fine. But the fitment wasn't what I expected for a 350 some dollar part before. So this is what the, the grill cover looks like. It's a weave that matches the OEM carbon, so it should match with the front splitter just fine. Uh, likewise, the spoiler on the back. And yeah, it's just a really solid looking piece. Like I said, I spent a lot of time just kind of looking at this and, and going over it when I, when I had it just sitting on my desk in the office. And I'm really happy with the quality of this. Okay, so here's what a test fitment of the grill looks like. So uh, the grill underneath here is just the silver grill that comes factory unless you have the carbon package. My car wasn't a car that I could spec, so I didn't get the carbon pack. And just this carbon grill on here looks super sleek. It really does match the splitter down here really well. And I think just kind of brings the whole end together in a way that it feels just much more cohesive. I don't have this extra silver popping out um, on what I think is a pretty aggressive looking car. So I'm actually really happy with the way this looks in general as a modification. And then I'm super happy with the specifics of this Alfisimo grill. Um, one of the issues that I had on my grill from Koshi, and maybe they fixed this by now, was that it didn't completely fit over like the back of the existing grill super well. What I mean by that is like I would have like a sliver of silver poking out of the back, and no one would know if, unless you went up and you really looked for it. Of course I did, and I knew it was there, and that always bugged me. But I didn't even install mine with like double-sided tape, so there was no, there just wasn't enough material there wasn't enough carbon to like fully cover it at least on my particular grill that i had um so in in my case this is an improvement but yeah i'm really happy with this there is a cover that goes over the silver on this it kind of covers the sides as well as a bit of the front i just that that to me is not something that bothers me on this car i'll have to go back and look at pictures because i don't actually know what it looks like on oem whenever you have the carbon pack does it cover that doesn't it cover that i don't know um but I, I kind of think I'm going to leave it without, at least here initially. And so 
And just to kind of show you guys what I've done, I'll pull this off, right? So it's not actually installed, it's just a test fit. I just slipped this over the existing grill to see what the, the coverage looks like, especially around this like bordering silver. And yeah, it's just, it's just a piece that it's, it's a cover. It goes on, goes over the silver. There's 3M adhesive that comes with the Alfisimo grill. It's the 3M VHB, so it's like super, super strong adhesive. I'm not worried about having that on the front of here at all. And uh, yeah, I think now that I've done the test fit, I feel confident in the way everything looks. I'm gonna go ahead and just rip that adhesive off. I'm gonna actually install this for good on the grill now. I'm gonna go over the grill real quick with a microfiber towel. I've drove the car like a couple of times since I last cleaned it. It should be completely fine, but just to make sure that it's clean, especially where that adhesive is gonna stick. So here's one more shot, backed up a little bit, just to kind of give you an idea of what this looks like. And I just think that when that piece isn't standing out as much, it just looks so much better to me. And I still need to do the carbon mirrors, but uh, we'll get to that in maybe a month or so. All right, so basically the only installation thing that you really need to do for this, other than prepping the surface and making sure that it's clean and uh, is gonna accept the adhesive on the the tape well is to just pull off the red backing on the 3M tape in here. So that's what I'm doing right now. And now this should be good to go. So very easy installation here. Just line this up, fits like a glove, get it all on there. And then I'm just gonna hold it here for probably a minute. All right, what's up guys? So this is actually the next day from everything that you've just now seen. Um, so I used the adhesive that came with the grill to try to get everything on. And it just wasn't holding quite as well as I would have liked to. Um, so later that evening after doing a drive and coming back, I pulled it off. Uh, today it's a little bit warmer now. I've got the car out in the sun and I'm using just a hair blow dryer to warm up the surface a little bit to make sure that the adhesive adheres a little bit better. But um, let me show you what I've done here. So I'm using my own 3M tape now and I put it on the grill first. And so this is all adhered. I warmed up the surface a little bit before I put this on. Um, it all fits in here really nicely. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'll just go through, I'll peel this off, exposing the, the surface of this. Um, after, I go through the grill and I'm just going to warm this up too. So I'm going to take that hair dryer to this just to give it a little bit of heat. I don't have a heat gun, but um, for those of you who also don't have a heat gun, this should be completely fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then we'll get it back on and installed and everything. Okay, so I've got both adhesive uh, backing strips removed here. So I'm just going to go through, warm this up again. And this just helps the adhesive a little bit. And then I'll go through and do the same to the inside of the, the carbon piece. And that's it all back together. So that's the installation of the Alfisimo carbon fiber grill cover. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with the result. Honestly, it's it's nice to save a little bit of money over the Koshi piece. It's not a big savings, but it's it's price right. You know, it's, you want to make sure that you're paying for quality. Uh, in this case, you're paying for great quality. You're paying for it to be manufactured in America uh, using the same process that Lamborghini uses to manufacture their OEM carbon pieces. Um, so you know that you can feel confident in the, the product that you're getting. And for me, supporting a local Alfa Romeo parts distributor and vendor is really key. And for total transparency, Alfisimo and I have partnered up uh, doing these videos and stuff. I get a little bit of a discount 
in exchange for showing you guys the parts that I want to show you guys. Jason's not sending me parts or saying you should buy this or that or this or that. It's more like when there's a modification that I genuinely want to do to my car, like this grill, like the mirror caps that I'll do next, um, I reach out to Jason. I try to see if we can make something work. And if he has what I need, great. If he doesn't, I'll go elsewhere for it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. I really appreciate the support. I know I've been a little bit slow to make content, but I'm trying to only do it when... I'm trying to not force it, basically. I'm modifying this car at the pace that I would modify it if I didn't have a YouTube channel. Um, likewise, we're still getting settled, having moved. COVID's going on. It's harder to get out and produce different content. And so I'm just kind of taking you all along this journey with me and trying to document it in the actual like uh, pace that it's it's happening at. But yeah, I super appreciate the support. The YouTube channel continues to grow even when I'm not posting videos. So that at least makes me feel confident that people are looking for content around the Alfa Romeo, Julia, maybe the Quadrifoglio as well, but at least around these Alfa Romeos. And so I think that's super cool. I'm gonna leave the link down below to this grill kit on the Alfissimo site. Uh, I believe they also sell the Koshi grill, uh, but they don't sell any like cheap grills that are gonna yellow or anything like that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thanks for watching my previous videos. If you haven't seen some of the previous ones, go check them out. I appreciate you guys coming along for the journey, showing your support, liking videos, subscribing, doing all of that helps me know that you're watching and that I should continue to create the kind of content that I'm creating. Um, and I also, another thing is, honestly, it's felt really cool to be able to create content like this where I don't have to amp up my personality. I don't have to be outrageous. I don't have to go do donuts in the car or anything like that. Like to have genuine car enthusiasts watching this stuff and following along with this journey at my own pace and I can be the person that I want to be on these videos. I think that's been really cool. So thank you. Uh, I will try to increase the frequency that I'm uploading, but like I said, that's going to follow the natural progression of this car. Uh, and my life, frankly. So, yeah. Thanks again for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Comment down below. What do you think of the grill? Do you think I should put the other piece on? And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.